Ever heard of adenomyosis? No? Well, you're not alone. Adenomyosis is a term that doesn't pop up in everyday conversations, but it's a condition that can significantly impact the lives of women worldwide. It's a gynecological condition that's often overshadowed by its more well-known counterpart, endometriosis. Yet, it's just as important to understand and discuss. Imagine a world where every woman knows about adenomyosis, where every woman understands the symptoms and knows when to seek help. That's the world we are striving to create. It's a world where no woman feels alone or confused about her body. It's a world where we all know the importance of women's health, not just for those who are affected, but for everyone. Knowledge is power, and it's our mission to equip you with that power. So whether you're a woman looking for answers or someone who simply wants to understand more, we're here to help. So buckle up as we delve deeper into understanding adenomyosis. So what exactly is adenomyosis? This might be a term you've heard before or perhaps it's entirely new to you. Either way, understanding this medical condition is essential. Adenomyosis is a condition that primarily affects women's reproductive health. It occurs when the endometrial tissue, which typically lines the uterus, begins to grow into the muscular walls of the uterus itself. This is not where it should be and this misplaced tissue can cause a host of problems. The most common symptoms associated with adenomyosis include heavy, painful periods and a uterus that feels enlarged. The reason for this discomfort is that the endometrial tissue continues to act as it normally would. It thickens, breaks down, and bleeds during each menstrual cycle. However, because it's trapped within the uterine wall, it can't exit the body and causes pain. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? But don't worry, we'll break it down further. But what causes adenomyosis? And how would you know if you have it? Adenomyosis is a bit of a medical mystery, but some theories suggest that it could be linked to factors like childbirth or certain uterine procedures. For instance, during childbirth or a surgical procedure, the lining of the uterus may be disrupted, allowing endometrial cells to invade the muscular wall of the uterus, leading to adenomyosis. However, it's important to note that adenomyosis can occur even if these factors are not present, indicating that other yet unknown factors may play a role in its development. Research is ongoing to fully understand the causes of this condition. Now, let's delve into the signs to watch out for. The symptoms of adenomyosis can range from mild to severe, and some women may not experience any symptoms at all. However, the most common symptoms include heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding, severe menstrual cramps, and extended menstrual cycles. In addition, some women may also experience pain during intercourse, chronic pelvic pain, and an enlarged uterus. These symptoms can significantly impact a woman's quality of life, and it's important to not dismiss them as just bad periods. Adenomyosis can be a challenging condition to diagnose, as its symptoms often mimic those of other conditions like fibroids and endometriosis. Therefore, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional if you're experiencing these symptoms. So, it's crucial to listen to your body and consult a healthcare professional if you experience these symptoms. Now, if you're diagnosed with adenomyosis, what can be done about it? Let's delve into the various treatment options available. Firstly, hormonal therapy is often employed using medications like birth control pills, patches, or vaginal rings that contain estrogen and progestin. These can help regulate the menstrual cycle and alleviate symptoms. Next, pain management is crucial. Over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen, can be used to reduce cramping and inflammation. In some instances, prescription pain medication may be necessary. In severe cases, surgery might be recommended. This could involve a hysterectomy, which is the removal of the uterus. However, this option is generally considered when other treatments have failed and if the woman does not wish to have more children. It's important to note that the treatment plan will vary depending on the individual's symptoms, age, and personal health. Remember, every woman's experience with adenomyosis is unique, and so is the treatment. So, we've learned quite a bit about adenomyosis today, haven't we? We've delved into understanding this condition, its root causes, and the telltale signs that hint towards it. We've also explored the various treatment options available to tackle it head-on. Remember, you are the steward of your health. It's crucial to stay informed and proactive. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. So keep asking questions, keep learning, and most importantly, keep taking care of yourself.